What's up guys? It's Jerry. Uh, this video is going to be quite different from the ones that I usually upload, which is on the Outcast. If you guys don't watch that already. Uh, what, end up, what ends up happening in this video is I go around... This is only part one, by the way. Only part one. Still got a few more to go. But I go around asking either small uh, small creators about what about how they felt about the contest, how they did, or, you know, I interviewed them. So, if you guys like this type of videos, make sure to, yeah, give it a like. Let me know down in the comments. All their, all their, uh, information will be in the description, whether it be RecNet or Instagram. I will post, I will make sure to put them all down below. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. State your name. Artsy Lexi is the name. Blobs. Solaris. Well, hello, I'm Crew. I'm Ash. I am Kino. Yeah, my name is Zimzar. At Zimzar. Thick Apple King. Nice. Is this your uh, first contest? Yes, actually. This is my first contest along with my uh, classmate. That's the one that made the map, which is uh, Ob's Birdie. No, this is my fifth contest, I think. Fifth or sixth. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yep, this is first ever. Our first. Yeah, first contest. Uh, this one is my fourth contest that I've participated in. This is the second contest I've participated in. What was your favorite experience during it? Uh, during the build phase, uh, my favorite part would definitely be like coming up with the blueprints because before we even like began with this map, um, I always was the one providing the blueprints on our uh, Discord voice calls and I would always have it like floor planned out and everything, whether it was outside or inside. And I'll be honest, there were some conflicts in between the, the mm -hmm. ideas, but we still managed to either make them work or we managed to just simply just merge them together to make it a better uh, solstice map. Probably during last contest, I was building a fishing map. And when only when if like the second day of the contest, we had finished all the models. And so we were just messing around with them for like a little while. It was, it was a fun, it was definitely fun. Probably a uh, play phase. Because, like, I get to meet new people, and, like, it was kind of fun to do, so yeah. Well, with the build phase, it helped me learn a lot about the Maker Pen and how to manipulate tubes and how to make, like, plants look realistic. It was a, it was a huge learning experience because I never took any Maker Pen class, so all of this I have, like, learned myself. And with like the play phases and stuff, hosting events and uh, hosting events and things helps to just bring new people in to communicate, to make new friends, and to just interact with them. And I'm pretty sure these two can say pretty much the same. That's just my opinion on that. The build phase was pretty fun. Getting to set the story and come up with good new ideas and obviously learning how to build because it was a challenge but we all learned in the end yep i can't have said it any better uh, i agree with what they both said you know the build phase is my favorite part of the whole the whole thing honestly Ooh, favorite part i really enjoy the building building's a lot of fun um, you could put a lot mm. of your mm. creations and inspirations, creativity all towards everything. Like this room, this is my kind of first time tackling uh, architecture. And so it's a bit frustrating at times, but it's really fun to, fun to do. Uh, so building is always kind of my favorite part of the, the whole thing. And I usually lead a lot of the, the crews too, mm -hmm. and they're all of our builders. And so it's kind of, it's, it's always fun, like, getting ideas off of everyone, bouncing everything off of each other, and trying to, like, get inspiration off of each other, too. Can be difficult at times, but <laughs> they're always good ideas, though. 
<laughs> I guess for me personally, it's just, um, yes, for me personally, it's being pushed to make stuff I wouldn't normally make on my own. Because mm -hmm. there's, like, some really, like, fun stuff that, that I made and stuff that's, like, really outside my zone, especially for something that's more cultural, like, um, we made with this room. It's, I'm more just, like, basic cartoony stuff, and I had to really go get outside my comfort zone here, which is, it was good for me, so I like that. Now, what was, what would you say was a struggle for the contest? Um, right now, the struggle is that, um, at the time, there's been also a graduation map that we're having for our, my, me and my classmates, so it's been a struggle for us to manage time at, during the build phase mm -hmm. to be able to give more detail into the map. So, like, we already know that we could have done a lot more based off what we did, but, um, even if it doesn't get into the roomies or even at the top tens, we'll still be happy and we'll be glad to definitely update this map in the future to keep this as like a memory for us to continue on with like maps that we want to do in the in the future um i'd have to probably put it with this contest um the last week or two was definitely a blur we were really rushing to get a bunch of stuff done had some subrooms that had minimal work so we had to push definitely in the last few weeks building because uh, how tight we were it was like a very hard struggle because we had to get it out at a certain moment and so it was running very very late and so but at least we got it in in time probably maintaining like a steady fo flow of people that will join our events because we are small creators so we're going up against people that can just send an invite and people can just look at who has sent them the invite and they'll join but since we're small creators we can struggle with keeping people in our events but we we do our best yeah the events were pretty hard but we had really good events where a lot of people join and then after those people left more people would come yep, you know we just have a team of three too and you know we're all we're all small creators too you know I think initially it was kind of just our idea for the quest. It took us about two weeks almost to kind of get that nailed in. It changed and it formed into so many different things, so that's probably our biggest challenge this time around. Um, but we managed to pull through pretty well, I think. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty much the same answer. And with it adding on to that, we were having trouble with the chamber a bit. They were, people, People who work in that area was struggling a bit to get the circuits working and which figuring out what that room was like pretty much like right near the end of the the quest and yeah pretty much that yeah that was the final push <laughs> <laughs> right before publishing now for newer creators the that'll watch the video what would your piece of advice be for them all those great YouTube uh, rec room creators, you could become like them one day, and heck, I don't know, you could maybe soar up to the sky with what you can create, because anything is possible when you put your mind into it. For like the new creators, I probably just say you need to experience some sort of lot. You need to compete regardless of if you think you're a good builder or not, because you kind of need to experience like a lot. To be able to push through and play. Don't give up and whatever you can think of, you can do. Just to keep going and to keep practicing. You may be scared to learn things about the Maker Pen or you may not know what to do. But since I am self-taught, I believe that others can learn themselves and never to be scared of even seeking a little bit of help if you are struggling. Just just keep going. That's That's my message. To set goals for yourself if you want to learn terrain plants trees props models and once you learn one part of your goal you can move on to the next goal to just actually get out there and publish it you know don't be scared to you know make make some inventions don't be scared to try and don't be scared to just try and Experiment with everything, you know? Mm -hmm. 
There's no, there's no shorthand of it. Just keep on going. Just do it. I say go for it. Contest maps are a lot of fun. Um, it's a great way to learn, even if you don't know. So I, my first contest map, I barely knew how to build, and I just kind of learned as I went. And sometimes that's kind of the push that you need. Um, it's always fun seeing everyone's maps that come out, and so I really like to see everyone's creations. So I wouldn't be afraid to go and try it. And yeah, and learn from other creators too. Like go into other rooms, see how things are built, and that's always a good way to learn too. And lots of workshops that you can attend in the events. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I would uh, pretty much yeah just adding on to that because I can't argue with that at all. I would also add um, like taking maker pen classes because it's also um, mm -hmm. an entry way to meet um, other players to team team up with for these contests. You may may not always get lucky, but it is a gateway way to meet other people who may have the same interests as you. Um, yeah, and if, I mean, especially if you're an adult, there is a specifically an adult Maker Man class, which I took myself, which was definitely worth it. I learned a lot from it, so I, the classes will definitely help for sure.